Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back. I'm Van and we are all the LFR family. Thank you so much for coming back onto my channel, man. I appreciate y'all. I know I haven't done any hops in, in a while, but we doing hops in the day, son. Shout out to all my Patreon members. Shout out to all my subscribers. Shout out to everyone who was just walking by or just scrolling through YouTube and you saw LFR family post or something and you clicked play. I appreciate you. Or maybe you click somebody, I don't know who the hell this is, is reacting to Hobson, and I'm a fan of Hobson. So you click play. Either way, man, I appreciate you being over here. Um, let me know um, what you like about the joint in the comments below, or if you have any information that I can use, or you want me to react to any of his other songs. Either way, man, sit back, relax, let's have some fun, let's try, let's attempt to break down some bars. I say attempt to break down some bars, all right? All right, guys, let's do it. Oh, one other thing. Below is a link to LFR JoJo's channel. He is doing great, man. He is doing great. I think he had his channel for three weeks now, and he already has like 600 subscribers. That's because he's doing a hell of a job over there. So um, if you would, click that link and subscribe to his channel. All right, guys, let's do it. Let's do it. All rise. Case number 23, Hobson versus Mr. Funk Volume. The Honorable Dusky Dozens presiding. The Honorable Dusky Dozens. <laughs> All right, everybody, sit down. This is really getting on my nerves. You guys are taking up too much of my time. Marcus Hobson, please come to the stand. I got the feeling he bought the F sugar honey iced tea up, bruh. I gotta get ready, man. Uh, uh, we good? We good? All right, let's do it. Nigga, what the fuck? What the fuck? Homie, I made you rich. Paid your rent. Damn right. Biting the hand that was feeding you, this shit don't make any sense. Nigga, what the fuck? What the fuck? That's a hell of a way to start it off, man. That's a hell of a way to start it off. He came sitting down in his little suit, looking all nice. The next, uh, right off the top. Nigga, what the fuck? I like that, man. Let's do it. Damn right. Biting the hand that was feeding you, this shit don't make any sense. Nigga, what the fuck? What the fuck? You know this is that real shit. How you gonna forget who built this, huh? I'm the one who made the company all the millions. Now you got problems to deal with. Man, this is tough luck. See a couple. Shout out to the way that beat dropped. My God. Ah, the way that that beat drop, I'm the one that made the company all the millions. Now you got problems to deal with. Boom. Woo. Man, shout out to my Patreon members, man. Y'all are dope. I'm hearing them through the headphones that you guys got me. I appreciate it, man. This sounds beautiful. All right, let go. You made the company all the millions. Now you got problems to deal with. Man, this is tough luck. See, a couple weeks ago we was buzz. And that crew that was killing shit was us. Till you turned on me, homie, this fucked up. I ain't keeping this shit on the hush, hush. On my chest, I just carry too much stuff. I done had it enough, it's enough, bro. Plus, I needed something to get my buzz up. You don't fuck. Hey, shout out to him for being able to switch up um, tempos. Still be able to talk about real stuff and, and, and keep it interesting the way he's laying down his bars and everything, man. I'm still trying to figure out exactly what he talking about, who he talking about. But he sound like he got a beef with somebody. Somebody! And I'm sure they said this is Hobson versus, God dang it, was it a something beats or, God dang it. He said it in the middle, man. He said it in the beginning. He didn't say it, but somebody said it. All right, I think the, sh the sheriff said, whoever he is, the bailiff said it. Every too much stuff. I done had it enough, it's enough, bro. Plus, I needed something to get my buzz up. You don't fuck with the wrong dude. Ain't no telling what Hobson is gonna do. Creeping up on you. Quit your sleeping, I told you. This a motherfucking journey we finna go through. If I ain't had so much to lose, I swear to God, I'd probably beat up and choke you. Damn. Nigga, this is that raw shit. Right. That organic flow. You probably see up in Whole Foods. Nigga, this is that raw ish sugar honey iced tea. That organic flow you probably see up in Whole Foods. The organic flow, that's an organic 
um, grocery store. Sell nothing but org organic stuff. Okay, I see what you're doing. He said, I swear to God, I would probably beat up and choke you if I, if I wouldn't get in trouble, man. That's how I feel about so mean. Ooh, ooh, if I wasn't going to get in trouble, I'd choke the fuck out of you. Probably beat up and choke you. Damn. Nigga, this is that raw shit. Right. That organic flow you probably see up in Whole Foods. Woo. Shiver me timbers. Something's fishy about you, Mr. D. Ritter. When I told you that I wanted new management, why the fuck you throw a fit and seem bitter? Something fishy about you, Mr. D. Ritter. Something fishy about you, Mr. D. Ritter. Something's, I know I'm missing something. About you, Mr. D. Ritter. When I told you that I wanted new management, why the fuck you throw a fit and seem bitter? Why Woo! you catch an attitude whenever I question you about all my fucking percentages? I know why. Why? You've been bending it in your benefit. You're right or I'm innocent. <laughs> this nigga crazy. <laughs> he said, I know why. <laughs> the judge said, why? <laughs> then he stood up and everybody got lit. <laughs> Y'all see that, man? They going off, bruh. They going off, man. All right, let's do it. I know why. Why? You been bending it in your benefit. Your honor, I'm innocent. This nigga crazy. I'm telling all of my people. You tell him. He taking all of my C-notes. See, he has a gambling issue. We taste the cash and blows it all like casinos. Damn. Uh -oh. When I bring up my royalties, you start avoiding me. That's some disloyalty. You woke up the evil boy in me. Your ass is poisoning. Tell me why you would destroy me. He's spitting, bruh. He's spitting. Young and is spitting. Pause. But he's spitting, bro. I don't know why I haven't gone back to Hobson yet. Why haven't I gone back to Hobson yet? I think I was saving Hobson so I can run through all of his music at one time. Yeah, I think I was saving Hobson for... There's so many artists out there, but I really wanted to get back to Hobson. Because he makes me think, man. He's one of the artists that make me think. I let go. Me, that's some disloyalty. You woke up the evil boy in me. Your ass is poisoning. Tell me why you would destroy me. This was a fucking vision that I had created. Hey, what is FV? Is it effing vision? What's your brother? What you two? Hold on. I'm saying hold on to my damn self because I didn't press play. Please tell me what FV is, guys. Is it effing vision or is it something else? Or did he just do a play on words? Y'all let me know, please. Tell me why you would destroy me. This was a fucking vision that I had created with your brother. But you two infatuated with the money. You killed it and ran it straight into the gut. Now I think, why'd I make the AME the boss? You keep pissing a whole lot of people off. Our whole label came out with a weak result. You on that same bullshit to make a bro. Was that a shot at Dame Dash? And then he threw a shot at um, Tamika, Tamika Wright, Easy E's wife, who was managing Bone Thugs and did them dirty. Y'all let me know that in the comments below, man. I got questions. I got questions. But what's that a shot at Dame Dash, man? All right. Killed it and went it straight into the gut. Now I think, why'd I make the AME the boss? You keep pissing a whole lot of people off. Our whole label came out with a weak result. You on that same bullshit to make a bro. Nigga, I don't know what you thought. You think I can't see the blood of the walls? I don't know what you thought. Hey, hey. I can clearly see the blood on the walls. Hey, I gotta be your bro. Time out, bruh. Time out, man. You know that whole thing was a vibe right there, bro. That whole hook right there was a vibe. That was a vibe. I don't know what you thought. Boom, boom, boom. But that's not how it's going down. I know I'm saying it's wrong, but it was a vibe. I right, let go. See the blood on the wall. Cut it going down, nigga. Ain't got time for your bullshit. Everybody knows you be only. Ain't got time for your bullshit. Everybody knows you be only. Hold up, hold up, I got some more shit to say. Yeah. It's supposed to be funk volume, isn't it? Thought it was music above all the business, but you just said fuck all you niggas. You turn this funk volume. Funk volume. Okay, that's what the FV was. Okay. So was that his crew or was that his label that he rep? Or is this just a made up story that he just, you know, something that he just, you know, doing something to, like when you write a book or something? Is he doing that? Hold up, hold up, I got some more shit to say.
Yeah. It's supposed to be fuck all you isn't it? Thought it was music above all the business, but you just said fuck all you niggas. You tarnished the brand and you started the front volume fitness? Come on, I really think got us portraying something we really ain't. How we supposed to be ill when you on our website with a shake weight trying to be Billy Blank? Nigga, th- <laughs> Nah, man, that's the pauses of all pauses, bruh. Should be no daggone grown man on TV with no shake weight, bruh. That's just crazy. Something we really ain't. How we supposed to be ill when you on our website with a shake weight trying to be Billy Blanks? Nigga, thanks. Fo, ain't nobody trying to lift weights. We just want to hit up the studio when it's rap and do shows. But you don't understand the culture of hip hop. You a lame ass nigga, Dame, half the crew knows. New way, Jerry Heller. He said Dame again. What's the... Is this, is he talking about Dame Dash or he's talking about another Dame? Please let me know, guys. I know he keep on showing that guy, but that guy could be playing, you know, I don't know. But you don't understand the culture of hip-hop. You a lame-ass nigga, Dame, half the crew knows. New ways, Jerry Heller, a scary fella. I hate your fucking name, every letter. I'm very fed up. You acting like an ordinary heifer. I'ma take you to the mortuary dress-up. We gave you our trust, then you had us cornered. You got us a shitty label deal with Warner. And if I confront you about it, you tell me I need counseling and I got a disorder. You send me your tour in this horror. Shitty hotels, no sleep, with no food to order. Meet and grease every single day is torture. How you expecting the A1 performer? Every time something's wrong, it's the same thing. Blah, 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 you just blame me. Damn. Then you tell Brooklyn and Jamie. Damn. Now they both thinking I'm crazy. Damn. I deal with this on the daily. Damn. My career mentally rapes me. Damn. I won't let this nigga break me. He playing Dizzy right as go replace me. Shady. What are your fucking motives, Dame? He's playing Dizzy right. He's praying Dizzy right is gonna replace me. Shady. Wow. Wow. This is a real this is a real joint. I thought it was just a story at first, but this is a real joint. Dizzy Wright, Dizzy Wright. Dizzy Wright ill too, he's nice. Okay, all right, so, wow. Okay, I gotta listen more because he's actually telling me what's happening. All right, let's do it. This nigga break me, he praying Dizzy Wright is go replace me, Shady. What are your fucking motives, Dame? Let's talk about it. Mmm, you're our manager, our labor owner, our accountant. Hmm, that's kind of tricky. Something is fishy. That's risky. We just don't even know. We go with the flow while you rowing the boat. You keeping it simple minded, cause you know when our only concern is just hoping we blow. So when all the money come in from. I'm just gonna say this, man. I love how he don't ride the beat, he create the beat. Like he create that that flow. Like the 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 beat is just waiting for him to start. It's waiting for him. Cause he just he just got that vibe all himself, just with the way his cadence and everything. Our album and tours, you sit there and soak in the dough. When did we ever ask about the gross? When did we ever ask about the net? You would just hand us money from our shows cause you knew we wasn't questioning the checks. Nigga, I trusted you with my life. You up your percentage, so I'm making less? Fuck you, bitch. You get no respect. This is what happens coming for your neck. Bless. All you care about is making money. You don't care about a fucking soul, though. You just fluctuate our dollars up and down at your convenience like a fucking pogo. You been screwing everybody on the label on the low and they don't even know, though. So good luck. Jaren, Dizzy, Hopper, Swizz, I'm going solo. Nigga, I don't know what you thought. You think I can't see the blood on the walls? I don't know what you thought. I can clearly see the blood on the walls. I ain't going down. Nigga, I don't know what you thought. I don't know what you thought. I ain't going down. Nigga, ain't got time for your bullshit. Everybody knows you. Ain't got time for your bullshit. Everybody knows you. Ain't got time for your bullshit. Everybody knows you. Hold on. Hold on. Is that my man with the, with the, what's his name? He be doing all the freestyles. He be battle rapping. Got all the um, face tattoos. They keep on showing him over there dancing with him and everything. What's his dang? I can't think of his name, man. Dude is a, he is a wild one too. Vicious freestyle. God, I'm mad I can't think of his name now. God damn, I'm mad I can't think of his name. Everybody knows you. Ain't got time for your bullshit. Everybody knows you. Ain't got time for your bullshit. Everybody knows you. Ain't got time for your bullshit. Everybody knows you. Change is one of the most difficult things that we face, but change is inevitable. 
One reason we don't like change is we get comfortable where we are. We get used to our friends, our job, the place we live, and even if it's not perfect, we accept it because it's familiar. And what happens is because we're not willing to change, we get stuck in what God used to do instead of moving forward into what God is about to do. And just because God's blessed you where you are doesn't mean you can just sit back and settle there. You have to stay open to what God is doing now. What worked five years ago may not work today. If you're going to be successful, you have to be willing to change. Every blessing is not supposed to be permanent. Every provision is not supposed to last forever. We should constantly evaluate our friendships. Who's speaking into your life? Who are you depending on? Make sure they're not dragging you down, limiting you from blossoming. Everybody is not supposed to be in our life forever. If you don't get rid of the wrong friends, you will never meet the right friends. Bars. Undercover prodigy forever ill. That's dope. Um, that was tight, man. That was tight. That was tight. I really enjoyed that, man. Um, Ill, Ill Mind of Hobson 8. Hobson is nice, man. <laughs> per usual, though, guys, I want to hear what y'all got to say about this in the comments below. And if you have yet to hit that subscribe button, make sure you do so on your way out the door. Don't forget, guys, check the link below. Hit up LFR Jojo. Let him know you appreciate him on that. You know he's doing well. Just give him some motivation, all right? Some encouragement. All right, so thank you, guys. Um, if you're still with me right now, if you're still hanging out with me, that means you really like me. That means we cool um, or you're just nosy as hell. Either way, I got a Discord over there in my Patreon that you will love. I'm trying to tell you. And if you want me to check out anything, if you purchase merch, that's the fast way to do it. If you um, join the Patreon, that's the fastest way to do it. All right, guys, I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace out.